Yellow is a delusional here, or Lobo if you want to call me that, and I have another video for you. Now, the video that we have is again now with King. King has several moves that you have to be looking out for when he tries to knowledge check you. Now, for the first move in question, it will be his forward 2 1. Forward 2 1 is safe on block at minus 9. So, if you were to attempt to attack the King right afterwards, he can actually block. But, if you want to beat the move, if you see it coming, then you can simply duck the move on a second hit. So you can block the first hit, the second hit can be ducked. Now the issue is, is that even if you do manage to duck the move, the king can decide to go for a different string that follows up from the forward two. So he can do something between the lines of this. Now this string is a three hit string, it's not guaranteed if it were to land on the opponent. Well, in this case, it's a dummy can actually use it. As you can see, the string won't actually land on a second or third hit. It only works on a counter hit. So, if you manage to block the initial second hit and the third hit, you can launch the opponent. Now, with Steve, you can't really launch, so you can only really do something like this. But if you're playing Yoshimitsu, or if you're playing any other character that has either a 15 frame launcher, or hopkick of some kind, you can use that against the king if he decides to go for that string. My advice is that if you do see the incoming move, to at least try to step the move if possible. Preferably sidewalking it instead of just stepping it. But if you're bold, just take in the hits, and block everything, and then launch the king. The next move in question will be this. It's down forward 2 into 1. Now his down forward 2 into 1 is a mid into a high, so you can actually duck the second hit. There is no other follow up that I know of that he can do from down forward 2, so if he decides to change it, he really can't. He has to commit, or just go for one move and that's it. You can't attempt to step this move either, it actually has a decent amount of tracking on both sides, so it's better to just simply make the guess that he's gonna go for the move and then duck the move immediately. And if you duck it, you either go for a dick jab against the king, or you can go for a launch if you have a launch you can use against king. Be careful of the delayed version of the move too though. They can try to confirm from the first hit into the second hit, the delaying hit in order to catch you off guard. You'll see a lot of kings do this, they'll try to go for a counter hit from the second hit. And that gives them a full launch right afterwards, which I failed to do right there. I don't know how to combo. So I would just advise that if he does go for the delayed version of the move, simply just stay crouching and then dick jab. The next move in question will be king's back one too. Now this move is minus 13 on block, so you can actually punish it with your 10 frame move. But if you want to be sneaky and you want to catch the king off guard, you can duck these two moves. Both of the moves are highs. And if you know how to sidestep with your character, you can simply try to sidestep the move. But you can get caught to the left side. But not to the right side. So you're stronger in invading the move by stepping or sidewalking to the right side. Though you gotta be careful of his secondary string that he can use from back one. He can go for back one into four. This move is minus 10 on block accordingly, but since it uh, puts him into a knockdown state, he can try to catch you off guard right afterwards. As an example, he could do this. So you'll have to be careful once he does this move and decides to go for that particular type of wake up kick. But you can interrupt it with one of your mids. Then King has another type of string that he can use against you. Back 2-1. Back 2-1 is the same as his back 1-2. They're both highs. Which means you can duck the second hit if you do block the first hit or if you're good enough to then block both hits and simply just duck both hits in general. Same thing with back 1-2, it has better tracking onto the left side. 
but not to the right side. But you'll have to be careful of his secondary variation of the string from back two. You can go into a kick instead that goes into a hit grab immediately, so you have to be careful if he decides to go for this string. If you block this particular string, it is minus 8, so he is safe. This move is more likelier to happen with kings that will like to press buttons or strings against you, but the other string is also something that kings will have to do as well if they're new with king. You can try beating the move with a power crush though. So as long as you know that they're going to go for one of those moves, you can go for a power crush. But if it's the back 2-1 instead, just duck it instead to beat it. But you can beat it with power crushes as well if you decide to do that with the king's back 2-1. So either choice can be beaten by a power crush, but if you want to get a bigger launch, duck the move instead. The next string in question will be his down forward 4-3. So his down forward 4-3 is actually safe on block. And it's not a natural string either, so the first hit of the move can land on you if you don't low block it, but the second hit, if it were to come out, you can block the initial hit right afterwards. It's only on counter hit that the string is actually a true string. And same thing, if he does go for the low and you manage to block it, you can then attempt to launch the king. But if you're not quick enough to launch the king, just go for a big jab instead. Or if your character has a wall setting 4, use that, but Steve doesn't have that. But you'll have to be careful of his follow-up move that he can use from that. If you were to block the initial third hit of the move, it is minus 15. This means you can actually launch the king right afterwards. Again, Steve doesn't have a launch, you can only really do this. But if your character has a 15 frame launcher of some kind, like Yoshimitsu or so forth, you can then launch the king right afterwards. Which also means kings won't really use this move if they're likely to get launched if the opponent knows that that move is minus 15. But you can attempt to step the move on the third hit onto the left side. But not to the right side, it tracks to that side. Then the last variation that it can use from down forward 4 into 3 is a down 4. You have to be careful of this particular string because this is the one that noobs love to throw out with King. If you manage to block it, he's minus 10. And it's kind of difficult to really punish him when he does this as he's still crouched down. So you can't really go for a 10 frame move. So your best bet is to go for a wolf stunning 4 if possible and see if that captures the king off guard. Or if you're quick enough, you can go for one of your hop kicks that has a low crush property. Or in the case of Steve, he can do this. The next string in question, this is another particular string that a lot of casual kings love to throw out. And it's the 1-2 into the grab. Now, there's several ways to beat this. If you do get hit by the 1 2, but you decide to go for the grab right afterwards, you can break the grab by pressing 2. Not only that, he does have a third hit that he can use that goes right into the grab as well. You can also break it with a 2. And not only that, if you do attempt to crouch to beat this string, he has a crouching version of the grab that he can use as the final hit. So you'll then have to then make a read if the king player is going to use either the 1-2 into down uh, 2 plus 4 grab or they're going to go for the 1-2 into 2 plus 4 grab. Or if they want to alternate between using the 1-2-1 one, one into 2 plus 4 or the down 2 plus 4 grabs. But most kings will try to go for the 1-2-1 one, one, or 1-2 one, into the 2 plus 4 grab instead. So if that were to happen... You can attempt to then duck the move and then launch the king accordingly. Or go for any other punish that you want to use against the king. You can also do this while you're blocking so you don't have to worry if you can't duck immediately. And do not attempt to jump against the king from the final hit of the grab. He can grab you mid-air. 
So your only option is to do what I just mentioned, either duck the move and then try to beat him if he decides to go for that particular string. And you can't step this move either. It has a bit of tracking so it's best to just simply just duck the move or even attempt to interrupt King. That is your only options. Now the final thing that you'll have to be careful of when fighting against King is his 10 hit string. I don't think it's a 10 hit actually, but it's one of the most favorite strings that King players like to throw out. Now the entire string isn't guaranteed. You will have to figure out the right moment to block or even low parry the King's strings. At that particular moment, when you see the king doing a hop kick into another kick, he'll go for a low kick right afterwards. You can low parry that. You can also attempt to low parry the second low kick that comes right afterwards from the first low kick. The next moving question that you have to be careful of is king's forward four. Kings love to throw this out. It's a homing mid move and there's no proper means of beating this move in reality. The only move in question that you can use if you have a move like that, which every character has one, is a power crush. That is the only thing you can do to beat this move. If he decides to go for 4-4, go for a power crush. If you think he's gonna be spamming it, go for a power crush. Or if you want to, go for a heat burst instead. At least this gives you a combo right afterwards since it does end up pushing them right back to the ground into a bound. He kind of does have a similar move, a similar looking move with back four. This puts him at a back turn stance, but it's not the same. It doesn't even home either, so you can actually step the move if you wanted to. To the left seems to be the better case. The right side can probably still clip you. But if you're quick enough, you can actually step to the right side as well. If you block the move, he is plus two, so it's still his turn, but since he's back turned, there's not really much he can do in this state, but he can try to go after you with some kind of back turn move. But you can actually duck the move if you want to, and then punish accordingly. The next move in question is one of King's favorite moves, and that is back three. Back 3 is a power crush that goes into a hit grab if you can confirm from the attack. If blocked, this one is 10, so you can go for one of your 10 frame punishes. You can also try to step the move if you want to. You can beat it from both sides. Then, you can also duck the move as well if you want to punish your king accordingly. And that will be all the strings in general that you have to be careful of with King. The one thing that I will mention afterwards, and I don't really think that this is really appropriate in this video since not many players will know how to beat it. And that's usually King's grabs. So as an example, let's say if King were to go for his giant swing. If you get caught by this grab, you can only tech out of it by pressing 1. There's already a video on my channel that explains exactly how to distinguish the grabs that King may use, but for the ones that have to do with the Giant Swing or Shining Wizard, it is much more difficult to tell exactly how exactly which grab he's going to be going for if it's Giant Swing or Shining Wizard, or any other grab that may look similar to the same animations that King may use. So if I were to, let's say, decide to go for Giant Swing, as you can see, that's a 1 plus 2 break because both hands are coming out. But like I've just mentioned, he can actually confuse you and distinguish between which grabs he wants to be using against you. Because that grab, it's not a one plus two break. This is a one break. This is a one plus two break. This is the one plus two break. And that is a one break. As you can see, these both look the same. They, there's no difference between the moves that you're going to be using against the opponent if you're playing as King. 
So as the player fighting against the king, you'll have to then figure out which particular grab he may use against you. Of course, there's grabs that are like this, that this is his tombstone. That is actually a one break. But you see that the left arm is extending. So you can actually tell between which grabs he may use depending on the type that he might try to go for. So again, that's a one break if you see the left arm being extended. But if he goes for this grab, that's both arms that's extended, that's a 1 plus 2. But like I just mentioned, he can go for the giant swing, and that looks the same as a 1 plus 2 break. So all I can really say about this is that there's no real means to beating this particular trait of King. He can essentially just confuse you and then mix you up between the grabs that he wants to go with. This is one of the reasons why King is super strong in the game. But there is one way, one kind of way you can beat these kinds of grabs. For any type of command throw that King may use against you, you can actually step away from it. In this case, he went for the Shining Wizard since he was running. That's another way you can distinguish between which grab he's using. If he were to catch me, as you see right there, that is Shining Wizard. You can break Shining Wizard by pressing 1 plus 2. And again, for all the other grabs, then you have to then look out yourself by going through the move list of the character specifically, and that way you can then see which way the grab can be broken from the king. But like I just mentioned, there's so many different grabs that he can use. The only way you can properly beat it is either by ducking it or by sidestepping these kinds of grabs. So it is up to you if you want to get caught by the grab and then figure out which particular grab you may be using, which is very risky and I don't recommend it, or just simply try to duck, but they can mix you up and go for a hop kick or some kind of mid move you can use besides using grabs. And they do have crouch grabs you can use against you as well. So really your best bet is to try to step the moves. So that will be all. That is everything that I can showcase with King. Of course, there's many other moves they can use in his kit, but these are the ones that players would often try to use with King. So I hope that this video was to your liking. I hope that you'll give it a like or a dislike if you want to. Subscribe to see more of my shit. I do have a Patreon if you do want to support your boy. And yeah, stay tuned, stay safe.